Rise. Please welcome Congressman Joe Wilson. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, and ladies and gentlemen, and friends of Israel, uh, and longtime friends as I've uh, gone around and seen so many people that I've worked with over the years, and uh, what a difference you've made. Uh, the um, American Zionist movement has made such uh, extraordinary achievement of providing for the existence and the safety and security of the people and peace uh, for the people of Israel. It's more important than ever. And I want to uh, indicate immediately muzzle tov to my good friend Elliot Engel and also to uh, Eliana ross Leitonen, who were determined to be the Distinguished Leadership Award winners, uh, two people of extraordinary uh, capability. And uh, you should be aware that at our uh, foreign affairs meeting earlier today, that I was really grateful that Elliot identified that the most bipartisan committee on Capitol Hill is the Foreign Affairs Committee. And that's what he will continue in the tradition of Ed Royce. And, and it's personal to me with uh, Elliot. He and I uh, bonded. Uh, we were on a delegation of Pyongyang, North Korea. Uh, and the only two people, uh, members of Congress uh, on the Foreign Affairs Committee who have ever been to Pyongyang. And you become good friends uh, there uh, in the midst of the horror of that totalitarian state. Uh, but what uh, extraordinary individual that he is. Also with Ileana ross uh, what, what a superstar. We're all going to miss her in her wonderful service here, his, her obvious enthusiasm and determination uh, to promote the state of Israel and, again, its existence, its peace and security. Uh, this year has been remarkable for me. I've had uh, personal experiences to work with so many of the persons here to promote the state of Israel. I had the opportunity to lead the delegation for the opening of the embassy in Jerusalem. How heartwarming this was. Promises made, promises kept. Uh, the law of 1994 has finally been implemented. Uh, and then this was done with courage because, sadly, we would, uh, the President was advised uh, that this would lead to mass violence throughout the Middle East, uh, to chaos uh, uh, throughout the world. Uh, as it occurred, uh, that didn't occur. Uh, the uh, attacks, which were called protests uh, at Gaza, have been going on since 1987. Uh, this is not new. Uh, and these are not protests if you're using a kite with a Molotov cocktail, uh, if you're providing maps uh, to persons to the closest to community, community to kill the uh, largest number of Israeli citizens. That is not uh, a protest. Uh, but uh, with Ambassador David Friedman, uh, I hope you all have the opportunity to go by and see the embassy. It's just heartwarming to see that finally this has been realized. I also want to bring to your attention uh, this week, of course, the uh, crisis of the tunnels uh, built by Hezbollah. Uh, uh, these are tunnels that are designed to uh, bring in uh, terrorists to kidnap uh, the maximum number, again, of Israeli citizens. Uh, but also, uh, sadly, uh, there also have uh, aspects of the tunnels that were built in North Korea into South Korea that have the capability of vehicles to come and attack the people of Israel. So I was really grateful to provide a speech on the House floor uh, two days ago to bring to the attention of the American people of this danger to the people of, of Israel. On a very positive, and, and, and actually that was personal to me too. I've been to the Golan Heights. I had the opportunity to stand on top of a destroyed Soviet tank of the Syrian army. Uh, and as you stand there, uh, you can clearly see how at risk uh, from the heights uh, the people are of Israel, how important that is that the uh, territory, uh, the, the boundaries be maintained uh, for the security of the people of Israel. That's why a visit to Israel is so important. Additionally, I want to point out last night, uh, the latest news, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to see it, but we were able to pass uh, legislation with Elliot's leadership and Ed Royce's leadership. It was a combination of two uh, statutes from the House. One was uh, one that was introduced by Congressman Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin, which condemned Hezbollah for using human shields. Uh, another one, and I give you all the credit, uh, was a bill that I had passed the House uh, which condemned Hamas for using human shields. It passed 415 to zero. Thank you very much. And, and, and now this, this has been included in uh, the statute that the Senate passed over last night. They combined these. Uh, and this, with Senator Bob Corker's leadership, uh, now is going to the President for his signature to condemn the use of human uh, shields in, uh, by uh, both Hezbollah and Hamas. Again, another example 
I visited in Sederot with to find out the horror how this could be. And that is that I was visiting with this dear lady who told me that she was at a park and there was a uh, missile uh, attack. And so she grabbed the closest child in the playground and put the child into a shelter. Uh, the child she did not pick up was permanently traumatized. No mother should have to even think of something like that occurring. Uh, but uh, it has occurred and, and can be avoided. Uh, we do still have legislation uh, that has uh, passed with uh, Elliot and Ed's assistance, uh, Lee Zeldin's uh, legislation to uh, condemn uh, BDS. Uh, sadly, uh, it has not gotten to the floor yet, but there's a real chance of, uh, with uh, your input, uh, that we can, working in the House and the Senate, have that possibly included in the omnibus, uh, because BDS is such a threat to the existence of uh, Israel and to the people of uh, faith around the world. Uh, as I conclude, I want to uh, invite everyone. Uh, I'm uh, grateful to serve, uh, and I want you to come by, visit your member of Congress, but uh, and I'd love for you to come by 1436 Longworth House Office Building. Uh, the office I have overlooks the U.S. Capitol Building. Uh, please come by. When you come by, all you have to do is say, Joe said come by, and they'll take you to the window. <laughs> and, and you'll get a picture with the dome of the Capitol uh, on your shoulder. And if you look uh, very carefully, you don't have to look carefully, it's very blatant. There's a flag of the State of Israel right there. Thank you, and hey, best wish. Thank you all very much. <laughs>